Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chef HD. Uh, today I got a really special recipe for you guys, just in time for the summer. A really refreshing avocado and feta salad. We've been making this at the restaurant for years, uh, and it's really simple to put together, and I think you guys are gonna love it. So I'm gonna show you guys today two different ways to enjoy this recipe. The first way, I'm gonna show you how to use it as an appetizer, and I'm gonna show you how to make homemade pita chips from scratch using an air fryer or a convection oven. And the second way will be my take on the classic brunch item, avocado toast with a poached egg. So this flavor combo really blew my mind the first time I tried it. This was just over 10 years ago on a visit to the beautiful island of Crete. And to be honest with you, at the time, I was just completely amazed that they even had avocados in Greece. I've been messing around with this flavor combo ever since. So as always, enough talking and let's make this happen. All right guys, let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to proof our yeast with 335 grams of water, 10 grams of yeast, 6 grams of sugar, and 65 grams of flour. Whisk that all together. And in our stand mixer bowl, we're going to do 435 grams of flour, 6 grams of salt, and 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now set the stand mixer to low and add in our yeast mixture. Uh, let that go in the stand mixer for about 10 minutes. We're gonna pull that out onto our surface and uh, knead that out for another five minutes. Grease up the bowl, put the dough back in, cover it up with some plastic wrap and let that rest for about an hour or until double. Hey guys, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome. And uh, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, click the notifications, and we got a new video every week. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, Degas the dough, and then we're gonna plop this thing out onto our floured workstation. Okay, so portioning out the dough here, I wasn't too specific in size. I got about 10 seven inch pitas, form the balls nice and tight. Let those rest for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna roll them out with our rolling pin. Uh, this, this little technique just stretches out the dough a little better. Uh, you don't have to be perfectly round, as you can see. <laughs> um, but as close as possible. I think you get better at time. I did. Uh, as you can see here and then to cook these off I used a cast iron skillet uh, with a little bit of olive oil set to medium low uh, heat and just go nice and slow on the cook uh, once you get a little brown flip it over on the other side the whole process for each pita takes about five to six minutes Cut these things any shape you like. Uh, I throw them in a bowl afterwards, coat them with some olive oil, and then I'm using a zatar spice, and then we're gonna put them in the convection oven at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes or until lightly golden brown and beautifully crispy. For the salad, we're gonna need some ripe avocados, obviously. Okay guys, so a big pet peeve of mine, and if you're one of those people, I used to be, please do not squeeze the avocados at the supermarket. A uh, good way to tell if they're ripe is that the stem, if you just pluck it off, it should give you no resistance. It should just come right off. Uh, that should be a clear indicator that your avocado's ripe. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be soft, but the more you squeeze the avocado, uh, you're gonna bruise it for everybody else, so please stop doing that. All right, next uh, next part of the salad, uh, we need some ripe tomatoes or semi-ripe tomatoes here. I'm using a plum tomato, and I'm taking the seed bed out and just giving them a, a nice rough chop.
Gonna add some salt, some pepper, a little bit of olive oil, some fresh lime juice, one shallot sliced really thin. Some fresh dill, give that a rough chop and mix that all together. Now we're gonna combine that with our avocado and give that a nice rough mix. You don't wanna over mix here. I like to keep a little, uh, I like to keep the salad on the chunkier side. Finish off the pita chips with a little extra sprinkle of zatar spice. That's the first plate. Uh, let's give this bad boy a try. I know it's good. Right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. We use a good creamy feta. That's why I added a little lime juice. If you have a really sharp feta, I would uh, cut back on the lime. You don't need that much acidity. Um, but the zatar is coming through. I really like these pita chips. Uh, you're really gonna love this dip. Now let's get on to the next one. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's get to it. All right, first we wanna cook off our bacon. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to cook bacon. Use whatever method you want. I use the oven and a nice uh, baking sheet like this. Uh, you get even perfect results every time. All right, poaching eggs is a little more complicated. One trick that I've learned, uh, use a lot of vinegar in your water. Uh, you want to get your temperature up to about 180 degrees. I usually crack my egg into a little container or a ramekin like that. Drop the egg in gently. Give it a swirl with the spoon once the egg settles a little bit. You want to kind of flip the egg over onto itself just once and then let the water do the work. And the next step, once the egg is cooked to where we want it, uh, we put it into a water bath to kind of wash off that vinegar. I'm using a sourdough bread for this recipe. And then I'm going to toast off the slices using ghee. Uh, it's a cultured clarified butter. Low to medium heat here, nice and slow, so you get a nice crunch on, on the outside of the bread. Give it a nice flip over and finish off the other side. Dude, I forgot the bacon on this first go. <laughs> but uh, this is the way uh, to do it if you don't like bacon or if you have some kind of allergy or just don't like pork. Uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, I had to redo it. Uh, but the bacon adds a nice little smoky flavor, nice little smoky layer to this dish. And whichever way you go, it's going to be delicious. So enjoy. All right, guys, that's the avocado feta toast. Uh, it's uh, very playful and it's delicious. Uh, if you want to go without the, the jalapenos, uh, feel free to do so. I think I think uh, I think it's nice with a little extra spice. Um, actually, Chef Chef Bianco, my boy Chef Mike Bianco, uh, 
came up with this little rendition on this dip um, and it was just, uh, it blew my mind. And I was actually very proud that I could bring this dish from Crete and have it influence uh, a chef like him. So I think he nailed it. I think the bacon brought out some smokiness. I think it brought out some, uh, some more nostalgia from, from what we grew up with in, in New York. Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, basically, um, with a little heat. And I think it's delicious. And I think you guys are gonna love it, man. I can't wait. Uh, if you guys come up with some more playful ideas for this dip, for this salad, uh, share them with me, please. I can't wait. I can't wait to see them because you guys are gonna love this. Uh, let's give it a taste. Guys, the ghee um, that we toasted the bread with gives it a whole other level. Buttery, but like cheesy, just a whole other dairy level here. So um, it's, yo, it's phenomenal. Guys, you gotta taste this. That's it. All right, guys, so I had fun today. Um, I really love that recipe. Make sure to share it with everybody. Uh, tag us on Instagram, chefhd.tv. If this is your first time watching this channel, please subscribe. Make sure to click the link down below for notifications. Give us a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Peace.